So one of the questions that people often ask is how Inner Transition can make a contribution to big public events. And there's just a few things that we've done in Totnes that I think might be interesting for people um, to see, you know, not so much the exact detail, but some of the principles that we brought into designing public, um, public evening events. So one of them was um, a situation that came up when someone from the energy group wanted to do a pro-nuclear talk on the basis that nuclear energy is a carbon reducing technology. And when we talked about it in core group, I had the suggestion that we could include somebody speaking for nuclear, providing there was somebody speaking for renewable technology, so, um, so you know, that we would hear alternatives and I wanted it to not be something that turned into a debate and a competition. So to get out of that paradigm where, you know, you end up putting down the other person's point of view. How can we have a respectful and inclusive kind of conversation about energy? And one of the ideas that I really love is the question of how can we include in the conversation all the people that aren't in the room? So one of our problems is, you know, we show up as ourselves in the present day, but we don't hear from the people in the future that are going to be dealing with all of our, you know, radioactive waste. How do we hear from all the other life forms that are affected by our choices around energy, but don't have a say in our meetings, let alone in our parliament? So we decided to do this evening where we would give each speaker um, a very limited amount of time. So I think that, you know, they had 15 or 20 minutes. But as every person came into the room, we gave them a coloured ribbon, and there were four coloured ribbons. And this idea comes originally from Joanna Macy about widening the circle of listening. So all of the people with a blue ribbon were invited, if they felt okay to do it, to listen as people from the future. All the people with a yellow ribbon were invited to listen as non-human life forms. Um, all the people with a red ribbon were politicians or people that are involved in the industrial world. And all the people with a, I don't know what it was, brown ribbon were people just as residents of Totnes today. So we heard the speakers, we invited questions, and then instead of going into a big kind of debate, all of these groups came together. So all of the um, non-human life forms, all of the people from the future, people from the business sector, and people, the residents of Totnes all had a conversation. So we had four facilitators, one for each of those. And they had about 15 or 20 minutes to speak about what they'd heard and what their response was. I think we had about 70 people come to the event. Some people just left immediately when the speakers had finished. Um, but there was about 15 people in, maybe 10, 15 people in each of these groups. And then they uh, had a spokesperson, so the evening was ended by hearing back from all of these different groups. So, you know, we the people of the future have heard what you've said and this is what we have to say. So we made something a little bit of a ceremony. Um, and, and we also heard back from people, um, how was it to do that kind of process? So it's one of the very few events shaped by Inner Transition that had more men than women who came to, because they were interested in the energy event. There were some people who said they would have invited people, but it was too, it was a bit too much process, like it had gone out of the comfort zone of some of the people that were interested in the technology issues. Um, and I thought some of the things that were spoken by the different groups were re really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. So that was one kind of way of holding, um, holding a debate on quite a charged topic that really opened it out and opened the sense of who was, who was in the room.